Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Hope Beast and we are now here outside Trinoma Level 4 Garden and we are lining up for Yifang Fruit Tea. Alright, this is uh, one of Taiwan's uh, most popular uh, fruit tea house. I managed to taste this uh, way back when I was in Taiwan. Now, we're gonna definitely try if the taste is similar to their Taiwan branch, all right? Okay. Alright guys, we are here at Kifong. We're gonna try this if this is the same taste uh, with their Taiwan original uh, branches, all right? Shake well before you drink. Hey, what's up, guys? We have our Ivan milk tea, and we are now going to our restaurant. We have a dinner reservation at Shilin, and that's our first vlog for to tonight, all right? For this uh, Yi Fang review, we're gonna review that and you can watch that on a separate blog in a while, right? Alright, guys, welcome back to Hope Peace, and we are now here at. Is this my Lin. So we are trying their uh, Shaolong Bao. We are now actually uh, on some Chinese cuisine. But while we are waiting for our order here at the restaurant, I'm gonna do the food review for this Yin Fang Taiwan Food Tea. So this is one of uh, Taiwan's most popular. Uh, tea house so this is also available right now here at level 4 in the garden of Trinoma so we're not actually trying this while we are waiting for our food so as you can see I think this is a, a simply as a brown sugar only so you need to shake it up before you drink it So actually the brown sugar is uh, quite hot and I thought I ordered a hot beverage but there is ice so when you mix it it's, it's getting cold along with the pearl. So we're gonna try that and for this, this is uh, also their best seller, what do they call this? Fruit tea. It's the Taiwan fruit tea, right? So we're gonna taste that as well. We are actually doing uh, two vlogs for this um, because right now we are on a Saturday with the wife. She's quite shy so she wants the camera to focus on me. So I'm gonna taste this first and I'm gonna try to describe to you guys what this thing tastes like. Right? Oh, my God. 
All right, let's start with this. Um, this is one of their bestseller milk tea. And so far, the pearl sinkers are really soft. It's nice. The texture feels just right. It's a, it's a bit different from most of the milk tea that we, we have um, in the Philippines. So for it's also a bit smaller, but for the milk tea it, itself. taste it's just like a similar taste for some milk tea that I taste uh, on some random tea stores it also tastes like uh, the one that the one that's in the sachet what's, what's that one? Nesty the one that we bought the green one yeah I forgot the name of that, uh, of that local uh, milk tea that you just uh, buy on the grocery store. And again, it's simply have a DIY on it. I'm sorry, Yifang, but this is not what the the fun I tasted way back in when I was in Taiwan. So, if I were to rate it uh, from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'd say it's just number 3. Though I, I give uh, mad props for the singers because it, it is quite soft. It's just the same overall. I still go with my best uh, all-time best milk tea which is uh, this one this one my favorite gongcha gongcha milk tea is still the best for me and second is uh, dakasi now I, I also don't like uh, what's that hype form coco coco milk tea it's, like, it's just like coco milk tea all hype now for the fruit tea. For this fruit tea, um, it's um, authentic. It tastes like fresh fruits, so don't expect uh, something like sweet. It's a bit bitter with uh, just the right um, tangy taste on it because of the orange. So maybe that's causing the bitterness. And I only put up 80% uh, of the sugar, so that's about it. There's some seed going on here. I don't know what, this, what is that, but it's definitely a thick seed. Now that's about it for our Yifang review, and I'm not gonna buy this anymore. So, nothing special for me, just so so. So, that's about our first episode for this vlog on Yifang. Now, we move on to our Saturday. Here at Shin.
A few moments later.